What's going on guys? I am with the Moose and today I have week number 8 of my Bundle Bunch team. Hopefully we can get a victory. We are 3-4 and four at the current moment. We need to win 3 straight games to make the playoffs. So let's get it started. Playing on the road here looks like he also has a Johnny Manziel. Not sure which one that is. Hopefully it's the 94. The 99 is a little OP. That would not be fun for us to play against. Let's hopefully bring him down. Nice tackle. Second and seven, we got to keep, you know, the defensive firepower up. We cannot be, you know, having bad plays, and he's getting a big gain over the middle there, bringing him down, but nice snag for Demarius Thomas. First and ten here, just notice he has DeMarco Murray as his running back. Hopefully that's not the 99 version. He's picking up another first down, though, with Heath Miller there. Looks like my opponent's coming out with four wide receivers and a tight end, so he's definitely going deep on this one, that's for sure. Or he's just going to be scrambling with Johnny. Not sure what he's throwing here. And he's going to be somehow finding somebody. T.Y. Hill in an open space. And he's down to the 8, it looks like. Oh, my goodness. My defense has come out and just crapped itself, to be frank. I mean, they haven't done anything of, of note, really. And again, looks like he might be in the end zone. He is not. Why, well, he came out at the last second, but he's still on the one-yard line. Just going to send a huge blitz up the middle. Hopefully this works out. He's definitely going to be running it, and he will be in the end zone. That was a ridiculously good drive for my opponent. Defense couldn't do anything, and he's on the board first. To say that was a bad drive would be an understatement. That was absolutely pitiful. Defense did absolutely nothing, you know, at all, highly to speak of. And CJ's picking up looks like five or four on that one. Third and three, need a first down early on here. Cannot be in a fourth down situation. And Tyler Efforts picking it up, and he's getting a few extra with the yak. <laughs> Nine yards total. I want to make sure I at least get down the field and get some points on the board this drive. It's very important to me, and CJ's not picking up much on that one. Trying the triple option here. It's a staple of my offense, and it's hopefully going to be working out for me here. Johnny, we got to get outside. Cannot get there, and we do not pick up a first. Third and inches. Just going to smash it up the middle with CJ. Hopefully he can pick up the first. He can. Getting a few extra on the ground as well. This hasn't been the most spectacular drive, but we're moving the ball downfield. Just got to keep that going. Don't want to, you know, make any mistakes here. X is open, I think. Oh, my goodness, Brandon Marshall. That could have been picked off. Need some yards here if we don't get it. You know, this is not going to be a good situation for us. Eifert's open, I think. Yes, he is. I hate to go to him all the time, but he's picking up another first down. He's been all reliable for me this season. Giving him a different look here on the run play. Hopefully, CJ can get outside in the counter. He cannot, though. Wow, this guy's defense has just been killing me in the backfield. Just been burning a ton of clock here. Moving the ball downfield slowly but surely with CJ Spiller. We're getting another big time run there. First down with the spin move. Oh my goodness, CJ is in the end zone. What a run. And we're tied back up. Right now we need my defense to actually step up and make a couple plays. We didn't really make any plays last time on defense. And we need to do so now. Johnny's scrambling outside and getting a bunch of yards. Oh my goodness, somebody lay a hit. There we go. We could not pick it up though. Somehow Manziel ended up with it himself. Wow. How many times do you see a quarterback fumble and then he recovers his own fumble? That was just insane. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Somebody lay a hit. Not quite, and he's getting another big gain. I have tried a bunch of different schemes against this guy. I've tried zone, man, everything really, and I haven't been able to do anything until now. Connor Barwin making the snag, and I'm pressing Y. He's jumping. He's diving early. Can Barwin go somewhere with this? Maybe. Johnny's pushing him out, but good return. We're down to the 41, and hopefully we can tack on at least three here. As much as I want to score here, the last thing I want to do is throw a pick or make a turnover in any fashion. That would be terrible. Eifert, oh my goodness, he's getting off the guy, and he's getting out of bounds for the first down. I'm pretty much not going to be taking any chances at the end of the quarter here. Do not want to make any mistakes. Just want to, you know, like I said, at least get three on the board. Hopefully CJ can go, go somewhere with this, though. Oh my goodness, CJ Spiller down the sideline, down to the 18-yard line. That's exactly what we needed. Now we're definitely in field goal range. Hopefully we can tack on six, though. That would be nice as well. Arian Foster's in the game. CJ's a little tired, giving him a breather. CJ Spiller once again. We're handing it off to him. Hopefully he can get outside. He's got a lane. He's got some room. Truck him. He cannot, but he's getting out of bounds at the two-yard line. Let's go. Arian Foster in the ball game once again. Hopefully he can punch it up the gut. Yes, he can. We're in the end zone with just nine seconds to go in the half. Great end zone score for me right there. My opponent wasn't able to do anything with the nine seconds he had left in the half, and we are taking over here to start the second half. Hopefully we can get another score on the board and go up by a good amount here. Arian Foster getting outside, but really losing a couple yards on that one. Third and 12 here, and need to pick up the first down. That would be nice. Eifert's open over the middle. Can he hold on to it? Yes, he can. I knew that streak route would work, and he's hauling in another first down. Going back to the triple option. Hopefully it works out for us in the end. Johnny, looks like he's breaking free. Hopefully don't fumble. Yes, he does not. Let's go. And he's picking up a first. First and ten here. Been moving the ball pretty well downfield so far on this one. Hopefully we can keep it going. Reggie Wayne over the middle, picking it up and getting a few on that one. 
Looking for a first down here with CJ. Going to be running out to the right. Looks like he will be picking it up and a few more. Looks like Stutter Step cannot kill Sean Taylor with that. But he's over 100 yards now. Going to be handing it off to Arian here. Hopefully he can get moving down the field a little bit. Looks like he's got some good blocks. But wow, great hit. And uh, only picking up four on that one. Second and six here. We're going to go through the air. Not much of a pass here. But hopefully we can pick up the first. Des Bryant picking it up. Getting his first catch of the game. You guys have probably noticed with my play calling so far this game that I've been pretty conservative. Really don't want to throw it too deep or anything. Don't want to make any mistakes. We're going to be running on third down here. If we can pick up a first, that's great. If not, we'll take our three. Arian Foster working through some yardage, but we'll still take our three points. I'm glad we got three points on this one. We're going to be up by two scores with about two minutes to go in the entire game. Looking good on this one. Hopefully we can uh, you know, finish this game out. Just about two minutes to go, and we're up by ten points. That's a solid lead, but we cannot let him score quick. If he scores quick, he's got a very good chance. So if he scores at all, and oh my goodness, Derek Cox out of nowhere is picking this one off. Was not expecting that whatsoever as we hit the two-minute warning, and that's going to help us out a lot. And he might be quitting here as well. That, <laughs> that turned very quickly. There was one point where I thought I might be losing this one after he scored really fast on his first drive. And then I scored 17 unanswered to, you know, seal it up, and he has quit the game. So let's uh, let's open that pack for uh, winning that game. All right, guys, we needed that victory, and we got it. I'm very, very happy. I'm pretty pumped, to be honest, that we got that victory. It wasn't, you know, a statement win or anything like that, but our defense came out, made a few good plays after a terrible first drive, to be frank. And, uh, you know, they've just been, uh, you know, playing well recently, and hopefully we can continue that in the last two games of the season. Hopefully we can, you know, finish out the season strong and make the playoffs but let's see who we get as our new players got a uh, 63 overall defensive tackle Nate Collins he's not going to be used neither is Steven Schilling let's switch up the pack go this way Dwight Freeney that's a possibility not really sure JD Walton I think that's actually way better than our center currently so he will be the new starter uh, Stephen Taylor or however you say that it will not be our starting running back or anything like that but Dwight Freeney and JD Walton might be on the team you guys will see them you know in the uh, lineup update at the start of next game uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode I'm very glad I won and uh, we do have uh, you know at least one more game hopefully two more before the playoffs we're gonna need to win both of them so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and let me know you know who you want to see me uh, hopefully snagging a pack if I win again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later